One, go. This segment of the Stogie Geek Show is, of course, sponsored by Debonair Cigars. Please visit stogiegeeks.com forward slash debonair for a list of retailers. We also just got word that Phil Zangi, one of the founders of Debonair Cigars, will be appearing at the New Jersey Cigar Festival on May 4th. Tickets are available on njcigarfestival.com, and uh, it's sure to be a great event. Also, this segment is brought to you by the Havana Cigar Club. New to their humidor is the San Latino Connecticut Oval Corona, San Latino The Bull, and the EP Carrillo 2014 Short Run 62 and 74. Events include April 5th Tobacco University and San Cristobal Taste of Excellence on April 9th. Card nights coming up include Texas Hold'em on April 8th and Hilo Jack on April 15th. And now... Oh, the Stogies of the Week are upon us. Oh, yes. very God. excited. Hey, go. I'm going to do mine a little awesome awesome different. Let the madness. That was awesome. awesome madness. Interview, awesome guys. interview. Make sure you check wow. out our, our second interview with Jose Blanco. That was, every time we talk to him, it's an education. It, Absolutely. It, it is never the same thing twice. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I'm, and I truly mean it. When it comes to the shop, um, I, I can't say it enough. It's always something new. Oh, I, I, I feel like I'm at the farms. Yep. You know, it comes, it, it's more, and l- like you said, it'd it, it, it be so, it, I, I, going to a seminar, which I, I would love to go to, but it's not in this area. I think since some people are lucky enough to go to farms and some aren't, listening to him would be like going to a, um, I mean, well, you, we you have see the, the visual, to, but. You know what we have the unique ability to do and we haven't, I, at least I've never done, admittedly so, we're only a few hours from the connecticut river valley right i, I you know yeah, th- that's no, true that's it's we, an we I, haven't, it, yeah i'd come up with that yeah i come up yeah absolutely yeah yep you know it's a lot of stuff that's uh, yeah that it, it's, it's very very good point anyway here we so go i smoked a camacho uh, not a camacho an actual cle connecticut i said camacho connecticut uh-huh. because i long loved the camacho connecticut 1118 a river, a river a river so i wanted to smoke the cle connecticut 1118 and I was not really overly overwhelmed by it, <laughs> overly impressed or overwhelmed even. That, that, that's um, scotch. I read it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I rated it. <laughs> you just messing me up. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find my groove here. Um, I need to take some more, some more of this wonderful, whatever we're drinking. Yeah, to wash down that CLA. We're, we're still uh, a little, you know, taken aback by what <sighs> just happened. I guess right. It's all right. Paul. So okay, my Sealy Connecticut eleven eighteen. Okay, yeah, didn't have enough Will. flavor. Well, you got another cigar to talk. Oh, oh we're talking about Sealy. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, it just didn't have enough in the flavor department, no. right? We talk about the different I aspects agree. of the cigar: burn, draw, construction, flavor, t- spice, mm-hmm. what have you. It just it didn't have enough in that flavor uh, department. Now, Will said he liked it, so I'm willing to try another one. No. I rated it a two and a half. Try one. I, I got it as an angler. Now, if you've had the other, s- have you had the other sizes in that blend? Um, I don't think so. What I size I did you do? I, I, I believe I did the, the Toro or the Robusto when I smoked it, and I liked it a lot. Better really? than the 1118. I kind it, of agree it, with Paul. It could be better than 1118? Yeah. I agree no. with It could be a case where maybe a Robusto concentrates more of the flavor. No. I, I, I just didn't I, get much in the flavor department. I, Enough I, I, for me. I, I, I don't think know. it was a bad cigar. I'm no, not no, saying no, that. No, 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 no. I don't want to put that out there. Yeah. I just don't think uh, with the 1118, because maybe the shape of the cigar and maybe a little different uh, uh, tweaking, blending, whatever, 1118 just, I, I think, uh, has a better, a better overall um, experience. For in a, history, I, certainly. But I may, I okay, I may get in trouble for saying this. I don't know if that's an exact 1118 like we see on the Old Liberties. I think it's called an 1118, but it, 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 I could be wrong, and oh, I apologize, but I think it's... You don't think it tapers as much? I don't think it tapers as much. Yeah, no, uh, but you know what? No, thing, it, yeah, it, 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 I agree with your assessment. Well, that that's way. fine. Yeah. Okay, tapered, not tapered, but I just, like, right. the other Camacho Connecticut's, to be honest with you, do nothing for me. The the, the, the Robusto... Oh, that six whole six line, six, yeah. Uh, I mean, so I'm, 1118 I, was, hands down, the right, best. Right, exactly. That's so anyway... True. Anyway, it's just, it's not a bad cigar. No, certainly. I'm the saying CLA. try one, especially yeah, well, if you like something angle. mild in the coffee. Oh, it's with the coffee in the morning, right. certainly. You, yeah, absolutely. not in the coffee. You wouldn't necessarily dip it in your no, coffee. It, well, it may help. 
<laughs> Will over to you. See, now I can go in order. Now I can just go who's next right. to me, and we can just go, we right. Can go right around. Go. So, Will, you're um, up, my friend. All right. So, um, Scarlet's getting a lot of buzz. Here in the studio, in I'm very excited about I'm that. Really, I'm really pumped. And, and what, a, what a place to be, We're going to go way over time, by the way. <laughs> oh, who gives so you guys shit. know, because we're all in the freaking studio. Yeah. Damn That's it. it. And if you don't listen, fuck you. <laughs> 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 That's our new tagline. Forget Geeks Kitchen yeah. and Kicking Ash. If you don't listen, like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That's it. <laughs> Better listen. <laughs> Better listen. I'll kick your ass. Right. Okay, anyway. All right. So Scarlet's ah, been getting uh, be <laughs> just interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Will. That's okay. What did you, did you smoke a cigar? Yes, Is I, that did. Okay. I did. Smoke He's a cigar. been smoking <laughs> all day. I mean, I mean, I, uh, I'm Will Cooper. And I'm, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Stogie Santa at Joyles just kept feeding me Jeez. cigars today. <laughs> he, he walked in I today smoking a cigar, and we just kept handing yeah. him cigars all These day long. Because we don't get to see Will yeah. to give him. We have to mail him to him, and it's yeah. just not quite the same thing. We could no. give Will a cigar, and he smoked it just right there. On remember, the Eric said that when you fly. It's not the same thing. No, he's got it right here. <laughs> By the way, West Warwick, Rhode Island, if you're a cigar fan, you need to come here. Uh, honestly, there's some great places. I've really enjoyed the places. I've and if you like white trash, it's yeah, certainly. I've <laughs> been to both our sponsors. It's the place <laughs> for you <laughs> to be. To if be. you want a gray hat, never mind. Listen, <laughs> take your family to the beach, and then you go hang out at come West to Warwick, West Warwick and smoke. And you'll love the beach much more. <laughs> okay, anyway. Come to West Warwick. West Warwick. Well, why West Warwick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's uh, one square mile of... <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, Sorry, God. that's an insight. People who live oh, in Rhode Island yeah, are, are laughing hysterically right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they can't figure out how to get on, so they can't be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, so I think we're going to review the second cigar. This <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take us a while to get through our cigars tonight, okay, listeners. Okay, Bear okay, with okay. us. Bear okay, with okay, us, okay, please. Okay. All right. Let's get serious. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we're okay. just getting well, started. All right. Uh. So, cigars get a lot of attention over the past couple of weeks as uh, Drew Estate announced a cigar called the Undercrown Dogma. And I think many folks probably have been familiar, some may not be, but this is a, uh, a new version of the Undercrown that was done in a 6x56 box press Toro based on the Corona Viva blend of the Undercrown, which is slightly different. So it has that San Andreas Mexican wrapper, Connecticut stock cut Habano binder, and Nicaraguan and Brazilian Matafina filler. Um, it, now, a couple things on this cigar, and, I, and then I'm going to go on a soapbox for a second. Um, Excuse me. It, it was a cigar um, that's being sold as a retail exclusive from Smoke Inn, Excuse and it me, was please. meant to be a commemorative cigar to Cigar Dojo. Um, and I got to just say, Cigar Dojo is an online mobile site and a uh, great site. I mean, <laughs> one of the best mobile cigar sites I've seen out there. Um, and I want to just say, you know, I'm appreciative to Drew Estate sending it to other media. Um, and I, I was really disappointed to hear that some people in the online media weren't even going to review this cigar. I, I, it really was, and I, I have to say what, that. What's the point? What you know? Why not? I mean, why? Why not? Yeah. Why not? And you know. It's a wah 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 time. It was wah 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 time because all oh, he got it and yeah. I didn't. Well, you know what? I, I reviewed it, and a lot of other people are reviewing it, and I'm good for them. But yeah. the folks who didn't, I'm very disappointed <coughs> in, in, in that. But that's just that's just my soapbox here. <coughs> uh, again, it's freedom of the press; people can do what they want. But I'll say this: if you like the Corona Viva blend of this cigar, I think you're gonna like this cigar a lot. If you don't like the Corona Viva blend, you're probably not going to like it as much. Um, it's got a little, it's got a very syrupy sweetness to it, almost like a syrupy cherry sweetness. At times it, it smooths out to a little bit of a honey sweetness. Um, there's notes of coffee and pepper in there. And then the last third, it kind of gets more earthy, but it's not a negative. The sweetness dials down, but it's still very, very flavorful there. It's a full-bodied smoke. The strength is about medium to full. So it's going to be like that, that Viva. The Viva's a special cigar in my book. That's, oh, a, the, Chuck, that's uh, a Chuck Norris cigar in my that, book. That's, that's the best thing that I think Drew Estate's put, in my humble opinion. It's I'm a, sorry. Yeah. I, it's just phenomenal. Th this is still, I'll tell you, this is still a great cigar, and I, I, I encourage you guys to check it out. It's a box I can't wait cigar. To I smoke loved one. it. I really loved it. I, I want to smoke that. Yeah, and it, I'm glad that the, I hope, hopefully this cigar is not going to be, I don't know how limited or not it's going to be yet, at least to start it's going to be, but uh, it's a good <clears> cigar. And I'm not just saying that because Dojo is a guy I know and is a friend of mine. Uh, I would encourage everyone to try it yourself and see, and I think you won't be disappointed. Well, from what I understand, that if for, for the limited people that haven't had it, and it's limited this time, from what I understand, it will be 
at the show and it may be released at, at a larger, um, larger audience. We'll That'll put it good. that. That'll be good. Hopefully. That'll be real good. Then I'm yeah. going to put my ash on the light. I don't think so. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Mark Jr. Uh, before we get to Mark Jr., let's give an assessment of the cigars we're smoking. I lit up an Opus X Double Corona from 2007. And it is fantastic. I mean, you could uh, – an Opus of this size, I think, with the seven years of age that it has on it. Compare it to the <coughs> Black Orchid. Yeah, so this one you could smoke all the time, right? It could be your, like – Smoke it up while you're even while you're doing something else, kind of thing. It's got a great flavor profile, but not one that really requires a lot of your attention to pick out the subtle flavors. Wow. It's just a good, solid flavor profile. Um, you know, to spend there's actually a price tag on this. It was twenty dollars. Um, so you know, to spend twenty bucks on this cigar to get that much smoking time out of it and to have the flavors meld that well, I think is worth every penny, in my opinion. Um, you know, would I want an entire box of these to smoke over this? You know, probably yes. not. No. I, I, I don't know. Bullshit. Maybe it's a box split. It's a box split. Box split? Yeah, it's a box wow. split, in my opinion. That's the unusual. double Corona, because I think it's such a large cigar, those flavors aren't as, um, it, they don't pop as much as they do in some of the other sizes. I, I agree. It, it's a different experience than most other it Opus is. Uh, yeah. Vitolas. Yeah. And, and we yeah. smoked the original release Opus X on a, a previous show, I believe. Or yeah, yours was a double Corona. Mine was a Reserva de Chateau. Th- don't yeah. you, f- I, see, but on a uh, double Corona, I, don't you feel the last third is the best third? Yeah, on I the, agree. On the it's cor- picking yes. up in intensity yeah. as yeah. it goes I through. I think the last third is the yeah. best third. I found mm. the first two thirds were good. Yeah, but the last and and that just don't you think that goes with the Vitola size? Absolutely. Yes. So Absolutely. anyway, yep. anyway, go ahead. Will over to you. I oh, so sorry. Yeah. Compared to the Black Orchid, uh, the Black Orchid in the first third oh. is amazing, right? And then it's good, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah. the first third of that Black Orchid, I think if you can get one, uh, definitely get one if you have the opportunity, uh, just for those flavors in the first third mm-hmm. because they're just ah, uh, they're just out of this world, complex, changing dark cherry flavors. And, and then after that, it's it, you know those, those flavors kind of dissipate, and it's just good. So yeah. that's my opus assessment for the show. Will mm. uh, Padron 80th Maduro. Uh, compliments of Paul for my epic smoke. I mean, if folks notice this cigar, uh, it's that earthy, coffee, peppery. I mean, it's everything that you know and love about the 80th. This is my fifth or sixth cigar of the day, and it's it holds it, up. It's holding up. It's mm. I mean, I was uh, I was complaining my palate might have been shot before the show, and and. You know, hey, uh, it's this kind of was a good recharger here. You know, I got some of the room aroma, and I definitely I, I, love that I picked word. up some I of the love that word. I picked some room of the aroma. yeah I picked up some of the cedar. I also got kind of a charred meat from the the room aroma. Almost like a almost like a Trader Jack. Yeah, you, know, you yeah. say that now, yes. it's playing in my head. Yeah, Trader Jack. Yes, yeah. Tra- <laughs> Trader Joe's. Yeah. Trader Jack. No, Trader Jack's. Trader. Those, uh, that little. <laughs> oh, those, you know, I saw those, those ones that come in the Ziploc bag. Yeah. I thought yeah. I saw a couple of those in your box. Though. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I got a, a whole shitload <laughs> well, of those with this the Vegas Five. Actually, the Vegas Five. That's <laughs> Vegas Five. How about okay. Five Vegas. Five Vegas. Whatever. Who gives a shit? Okay. Mark Jr., what are you smoking? I smoked the new Tatuaje, the Bell Encre Reserve. How was that? Okay, here we go. I, I liked I, it. I, I, go ahead. I, I, I bet you. And then talk about what you've been smoking on the show. Talk about your Bell Encre first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I kind <laughs> well, of. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Well, no, let's stay on the thing. What we, what, what, what are you smoking now, Mark? Yeah, I'm smoking a ch- uh, Cien Años. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, oh, enough wow. said. It's epic. You don't even it's have to. Epic. Yeah. That's all you got to say. I got a. I got a box. Uh, on the on the recommendation of a listener, so ATL man, thank you. I have I got been a box too. whacking away, at, you know, at the, all the ones that I had. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because now yeah. that I before got before you ma- get the box, yeah, right? I got many more. Now, what did you yeah. smoke before that? Don yeah. Carlos Lancero. How did your Don Carlos? What was your assessment of the Don Carlos Lancero? It was fantastic. What is your Stogie Geeks rating on the Don Carlos Lancero? Boxworthy. Oh, absolutely. Boxworthy. I think, worthy. I think it's Oasis, but okay. I. Uh, it's not quite Oasis. I'll say this. I'm such a fan of the aged Don Carlos that you had. It is so different, and I was very taken back by that. I had no idea. This was the first one I ever had. Uh, I, truth be told, I, I think I actually like like those, t- you know, the Bellicosos mm. when they're aged. What are they, number twos? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, when ho. those things get aged, man, those are like – Epic. Really, the bell of the ball, yep. right? To I can agree with that. And, and and this Lancero is a step below that. But it's to not me, as it's not as balanced to me. I love the bready flavor and 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 all that that you get out of those aged ones. You don't get it out of this. As it's a very different cigar. It's much spicier, 
it, to me, it's a very different experience altogether. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good cigar. It's box worthy, but you know, if I'm gonna rate it against other Don Carlos, it's not my favorite. Well, I'm doing there. the 811 um, uh, Padilla that was that was blended, I believe, in 208 or 207. Yeah. It's got a Padilla band I've never right. seen in my You're entire right. life. Chris, uh, I don't uh, know if we can we can zoom in with with Stoke Santa or if Stoke Santa could hold that yeah, up. Um, maybe or towards it, your towards your one of your cameras. Uh, like whatever. Courses. It's the Lancero was great. Uh, the Corona is just a step above but i think these are starting to to age out they mm. the, the little bit of spice that you had the component is is almost not there in the background but the tobacco that natural tobacco sweetness and balance on this cigar that's it, it's it's really good it's oh, not that it was a pepper the, barn right I, when i smoked these things a pepper barn huh pepper barn i only have another drink <laughs> I, I tell you what, I sniffed the foot of that cigar, mm. and it was, oh. It's still really good. Really I mean, good. I, I, smelled, my humble opinion, fantastic. one of the best things he's ever put out. I was gonna add, yeah, I was gonna add. It's an Oasis cigar. Mm. At this point, it's still maybe a box-worthy cigar. Yeah, it's kind it's of lost, down. Yeah, yeah. but if you got them, smoke them while you got them. It, 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 I'll tell you, this, the, the Lancero is my favorite. Yep. I only got a, I only have like, I don't have any more. <laughs> and and any, <laughs> I don't, I, I swear to God. But anyway, the 811s, if you have them, my humble opinion, smoke them up. Don't, don't age them anymore. Mark Jr. Go Bell, back to you. Oh, 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 oh. Ash he ashed his balls. <laughs> 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 uh, what? So, oh. Bell Encre Reserva. I want to hear this. Okay. So, so he just came in uh, beginning of the week? Yeah. 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 While uh, I was away, because everything always comes in while I'm away. Yeah, so, so oh, I, I, you stop know, it. Who, he picks a box up. Thank, <laughs> th well, thank God. Thank God we have a Stogie Santa yeah, in our man, lives man. to text me, and I'm like, please put a box away from me <laughs> while I'm away, which is great. So these are uh, relatively uh, limited for now, right? Mm -hmm. Who knows what's going to happen? They released 44,000 cigars, which is not much, right? Mm -hmm. Talk about the packaging. I love the packaging. Um, and they were packaged actually in a pretty cool way. Uh, they come in their own travel humidor. It's a neoprene lined, zip up travel humidor that is, or er, neoprene covered, sorry, with a cedar lining in it. Probably, I would imagine it holds like 20 Robustos. Yeah, 20 there's 22. 22. There's 22 Belancres 20. in there. Belancres, 22. Yeah. So, okay, so tw and they're 48. So, yeah, yeah let's you, call you it 20 to 22 Robustos. Absolutely. You know, if you wanted to flip it on its side, you could put some longer ones in there, too. Absolutely. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I haven't looked at it. Did you see what the box looks Did you take the neoprene off and look at the box? I haven't yet. Well, it, when you flip it up, it comes up as one piece. Right. But the neoprene probably, you dude, probably comes off, off. And it's I don't know what the box looks box like. It looks like I, I thought it was the, some of the most innovative packaging I've seen in some time. Like a Monte Cristo. Does it smoke like a Monte Cristo? No, oh my God. Oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's a Pete, we're sorry, Pete. Yeah. Oh, I'm just busting balls. This is a five and three eighths Pete, by forty eight. Pete's got big balls. Yeah. Perfecto. <laughs> should I address that or should I just keep uh, going? Keep going. going. Keep going. Right. <laughs> Binder and fillers, Nicaraguan. Uh, about eleven bucks, right? Uh, I think this is another release from a ma from the master of Broadleaf, oh, right? I, in my opinion. And, and um, just think, he ran out of the rap, and that's how this came about, and it's amazing. I think it's still – here's my thing. I don't think we've seen – I think it's a good cigar, and I agree with your assessment. I think wait, just wait with this cigar. So, wait, it yeah. wasn't – you would tell me, uh, Stokey saying it wasn't supposed to be a Connecticut Broadleaf, but he didn't he have ran out of the rapper, rapper so the, he made right. it a Connecticut Broadleaf. Well, that was the Noea Reserva, right? right? And did he yeah. make it – and he made a great cigar. I haven't smoked it yet. Oh. Wait, go ahead. Well, I, I think he's like one of the best at blending with the cigars with the yeah. Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. There's there is nobody, you know, nobody like mm. it. Uh, this cigar had uh, nice cocoa and pepper. There was nice dark fruit sweetness and some earth. Overall, had really nice bl uh, balanced flavors. It had some aging potential. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, it's not his finest Broadleaf creation, but considering the blender... That doesn't, you know, yeah. this is still yeah. an yeah. awesome yeah. cigar, exactly. right? Exactly. It's, it's a box split, in my opinion, no doubt. But I, know, I, 10, I agree. But yeah. At this in point, age, you're probably going to. We'll will be a, have to reassess in the future, right? Yeah. But and I, I, you know, I, I, get I, I get got box. some, you know, um, again, uh, I have I had people come up and say it was good as in the way of Reserva. I don't get it. Not yet. It's not there yet. Not it's yet. not there yet. We could be talking about that. I'll tell you what, that. His regular release of the Bel Ancre is still a phenomenal cigar. 
totally different, but mm-hmm. phenomenal. How does it compare to the regular Bel Ancre? It, it, the sweetness is what the cocoa sweetness is probably the biggest difference, and mm-hmm. for what I think anyway. I mean, I I thought the Bel Ancre was box worthy. Oh yeah. So when the Reserva came out, I bought a box without yeah. hesitation. Mm-hmm. And and this is it, like I said, it's just uh, uh, when he came into the shop, and I was just asking him. Like I said, it's limited now. Who knows what's going to happen? Um, Hopefully, it's at this not, point, you know? at, at this point, I still like the 10th anniversary just a little bit better at this point hmm. okay at this point fair enough i i think it's gonna uh it could morph into a better cigar i'd have to smoke another bell on crate right I, I just love that yeah, cigar. Yeah. To, to make a fair assessment oh and that would be just a shame yeah i'm <laughs> gonna torture myself i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it i'm gonna take long. one for the team guys you okay. know mm. there you go i'll take one Stokey for the team. Santa, over to you all right i'm gonna go a little bit backwards here <laughs> guess what i'm smoking doesn't taste like a cuban doesn't deliver any flavor, and it comes in a five pack, and it comes from ATL. What could it be? A five Vegas. Bingo! <laughs> it doesn't taste like a Cuban. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Doesn't, taste doesn't taste like anything you ever smoked in your life. <laughs> um, thank this you, is ATL. A, well, this is an. A, well, you know, we joked about I, it. On and the, the whole show. thing, I left it in my truck for two days, and it delivered the same thing. If I smoked <laughs> it, if it, if it didn't leave it in my truck. Is that like a yeah. new aging process? Yeah, yeah, leave it in your truck. <laughs> leave it, it, oh, leave it like, in your truck. Is that like a new rating? Leave it in your truck. Leave, leave it in your truck. truck. That's, that's the rating. Leave, leave it in, it your, in truck. your truck. <laughs> <laughs> leave it in your truck. Thank you, ATL, like for a, all a that. One, a 1.5, <laughs> leave oh, it in your truck. Uh, it's, it's leave it in your truck and give it to your in-laws. <laughs> in-law cigar. Oh, in-laws. Brother-in-law cigar. So, oh, 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 just give it to you. Keep going. Oh, I want to hear your full no, assessment No, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. What did you get hints of? Was it, er- was, it really earthy? <laughs> was it really earthy, though? No, it had hints of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe. It had to have it had something. hints of human ass. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I smoked the ass first. <laughs> <laughs> the chat room no. is going crazy right now. I've oh. never smoked a Five Vegas. I just no, pulled that out I, I, of my ass. Yeah. It's, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> ATL, thank you for that wonderful. What is your story you each rating? Leave it in your truck. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it in your truck. Um, it's it's an interesting segue into the, the next cigar that I smoked, which was a Gran Habano Corojo Vintage 2002 Robusto. Ooh. This is a, a very much the same. Uh, I would call this an internet cigar, I guess, as people call it. I hate using that term. but No, nah, don't um, go there with that. This is a it's Cigars International. It's where you can purchase them for about $3 a stick. Um now, th- this is one of the older cigars in my humidor. You know, this has got to be five years old of, uh, in terms of what I've bought um, that I haven't bought something that's already aged. Um, this has got, you know, five years of uh, age on it. It comes in a beautiful – the presentation is beautiful. You can see the picture online. Beautiful cedar wrap there. It says, you know, vintage on it and things like that. Uh, it's a medium full uh, wrapper's Corojo. It's from Honduras. I- if you like a really, really earthy profile – if you like to take your cigars and like roll them around in dirt before you smoke them kind of earthy profile, you're going to like the cigar. I mean, the earth was just extremely prominent. Um, you know, for $3 a stick, though, I, I think if you're, you're listening to the show and you're looking for things to, to smoke, rather than to get 20 of these, I, I would go for 10 of something um, that's in a nominal price la- range, like an Illusion Rothschilds or Antara Fuente, or... Something in the Grand Habano line that's a 60 ring gauge, mm-hmm. I think you're much better off with the 60 ring Corojo or the 60 ring Connecticut in the Grand oh, Habano, uh, uh, which I found to be a much, much better blend. This one was just way too one-dimensional and way too earthy for me. You know what they did a nice job with, uh, if I can remember, if Coop helped me out, Grand Habano shorts. Mm-hmm. That was a decent yeah. little smoke. It really was. And they, they weren't, I think they were, if I remember, like, um, about five bucks, if that. Yeah. yeah. And that, well, he that does a good job of keeping all his prices. Down. Oh, he does. He does. He uh, does. And, and I mean, for three dollars a stick, like I said, it not in my wheelhouse. I don't that the earthy well, profile again, that this presented. But you, you know, but you might, someone may like that va- though. It, 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 who might? You've got to look at a value price cigar. I hate <laughs> using that word cheap. Whoa, um, I saw something on that uh, video there. Um, anyway, you know, three dollars. I mean, think about that. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, did, did, was it was it underwhelming for three dollars? It, it, it just because that earth just didn't just it didn't just grok with me at all. Yeah, it was okay. way it was, right. it was too right. much in that fair earth, enough, that fair earth profile. So, um, but like I said, if you're willing to spend a, a little more, you can get a lot more value, right? We don't want to use the word cheap, right? But value 
that 60 ring Grand Habano, Connecticut, I would smoke that you, I all bet, day long. But, but again, I mean, when you're in that three to five dollar range, you're using a sandwich, sandwich type cut on a, on, yeah. on the leaf. Yeah. You, you, you're, it is what it is. You know, right. it, 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 and that's the message I really want to send is that, you know, the people that are buying the, the 20 count boxes for three dollars a stick online is I think that there's there's more options for you. You don't have to get locked into to some of that stuff. It, you can balance that out. Right. Mm. You can get a 10 count box or buy 10 of something even from the same manufacturer. That's just going to be far, mm. far, far better. Mm -hmm. OK, so fair enough. Will back to you. Smoked a cigar that is about to go national by La Flor Dominicana, and it's a very, um, it's got an interesting name. It's the LFD NAS, and the NAS is an acronym I've been told for nasty as or nasty ass. We'll leave it at that, <laughs> okay? Um, this cigar looks like it's something out of a spaghetti western. Um, it's cheroot. And it's made all with Lajero. Um, it's got a Lajero wrapper, and it's got Lajero filler. There's no binder. Oh, this is an LFD? This is an LFD. They've done some cheroots like that before. Yes, they have. People said are super, super strong, all Lajero. Yep. Yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. know if this is the same blend or a different blend, but they did a cheroot for a store up in Raleigh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. This one has kind of been floating around. First, it went to a store in Texas, uh, Michael's, and Pipe and Pint, which is a store in Greensboro, mm. who sent us this cigar, um, which is, uh, you know, they have a one-month exclusive before it goes national. They do this in limit. They do these cheroots in limited runs. It sounds I've, like I've it. I don't know before, if this. Yeah. Is, I'm not Maybe sure if this is going to go regular. That? Could be. I, it's a niche. Th it's a niche thing. Right, yeah. I mean, to get something that's you know cut on both ends gives the perception that it's uh, you know one of those machine made or something like that yeah. kind of. So I mean, that cheroot means right. Yeah. It's cut on both right. ends and right. it's a, usually a Cuban sandwich, like you said. But they put some serious Lajero it, in their cheroots and make them super, super strong. Yeah. And the thing that they're doing with it, and this is, I think, the differentiator, they're using Pelo de Oro. Really? Mm. Yep. So the thing is this. It's, it's a powerhouse. I mean, this thing is, is – it starts out full strength with full nicotine. It goes full plus. I mean, so it's it, – it, and don't get me wrong. This is a cigar. It's going to be strength over, over flavor, over body. But it's got flavor. Um the thing is, I really was surprised that, and I guess the Pelo de Oro was working some magic here. It, it, it provided some sweetness, like a cedary sweetness. Um, it, was, it was very interesting. It was, it's not a cigar I'd go for every day. But for how it was positioned, it delivered. And um, I would go for a fiver with this cigar. Um, you know, but it's not, it's not a cigar you're going to give to someone who's new, and you're not going to give it to someone who can't handle a full smoke. It, it, but... For what it was positioned for, it did the job well. Yeah, I, 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 one of the other review sites, and I can't remember which one, has one of these LFD Cheroot um, kind of limited runs rated very high. And I tried to get one, and it you know, turns out they were limited. I never came across one. And I'd like the opportunity to smoke one because they did rate it very high. And I agree with a lot of their opinions on cigars. I, so I had, yeah, and I, and, and I know if it's the same one, I don't know if they still have it in Empire Cigars in Raleigh. And I'd be certainly curious with this. Um, and I had a, I smoked that one at Empire Cigars, and it was also very good. And, and I can't say if it's the same blend or not. Um, but it's a cigar to be – and the other thing, just kind of real quick, the packaging's a little different. Very different LFD banding on it. So um, they kind of went a little different with this. And it's a different cigar, to say the least. Mark Jr., back to you. Um, I smoked the uh, second cigar that uh, Eric Espinosa sent up to us a couple weeks ago. I smoked the Espinosa Habano uh, in the Bellicoso size. Um, this wasn't the La Zona, right? No, it Was says it? It made it in La Zona at the bottom. So it the foot has the La Zona band. Yeah, there is a La Zona that's different. So I don't know if I smoked the one that he sent us or the one that I picked up at Sosa Cigars in you smoked Florida. You he smoked. I probably smoked the same one, yeah, the not the one that I picked up at in Sosa. The, yeah, the, the, it's, I think that's a there's one in Sosa. I got confused because I bought some. At, I'm sorry, Martin, to interrupt, but I bought some at um, Sosa Cigars right. in downtown Disney in Orlando uh, that were Espinosa and I think said La Zona on it. And then Eric sent us the some as well. Right. I got them confused in my humor, so yeah. I don't remember what I smoked. Yeah, the La Zona is. I liked whatever I smoked. And, and they're good too. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So th this is a five and a half by fifty-two Bellicoso. Uh, the blend he doesn't talk about his blends, you mm -hmm. know. So 
Uh, that's his problem. Colonel's secret He's recipes. Yeah, uh, what did he say? The colonel never re uh, released his 11 herbs and spices? spices yeah. <laughs> um, they're pretty reasonable, at least on Atlantic Cigar. I, c I found them for pretty much six bucks a piece for a Bellicoso. Again, that's a cigar that's uh, got a lot of value at that price point. Um, you know, I looked at the band, right? And I didn't know what to – I saw this years ago, and I didn't know what to make of it. That pinstriping with the blue and the red. But I smoked this at the beginning of the week, right? And, and baseball's coming up, right? So that, like, just kind of fit perfectly right. for me, you know? It was very reminiscent of a baseball uniform, you know, uh, that has that type of lettering on it, the old National League lettering. with the. W I thought it was pretty cool. Um, that's a side note, obviously. The wrapper uh, had this, like, really awesome, sweet aroma when you were just smelling it. Uh, it stood out to me. Uh, and uh, and as one of the things that I found most appealing, the dry draw had some natural uh, natural tobacco sweetness with some pepper on the lips. Um, the cigar had notes of uh, cocoa, tobacco sweetness, and a slight spice. It also had some pepper on the retro hail. Um, overall, this is a nice medium strength cigar, uh, pretty full flavored. I would have to say, uh, this is a fiver. I agree. Right, uh, all day. Yeah. Uh, you know. I really dug that sake bomb. And, and, and again, I want to go back to that. That's not just because the guy was on. And we got really a special mm. opportunity to try that cigar very early on in the process. That cigar is, like, really, really good. This is another really good option yeah. from him. Yeah, I like what Eric's doing. And, uh, again, not because he's on the show. Um, there's a lot of people who like what Eric's doing as well. I can see why. Yep. These things make me want to try the other things that he's doing, yeah. like the Mercia Lago, uh, bringing the Mercia Lago back. And I want to try what he's done with the 601s now that he's kind of taking yep. that back under yep. his yeah. – he's so taking I production of those, you know. Was it was it this one that you smoked? Is that – Yeah. That's the yeah. one I smoked. We smoked the same one. Same yeah. Cigar, yeah, you yeah. smoked the same one, but there is a Lazono, which is in a Habano and a Connecticut, which is di a different blend. Okay. So this one, I said a block, box split with a friend. I thought it was really, really good. Okay. It was an awesome, awesome burning cigar. It's a it's a pretty large cigar, but I found that it, it burned fast but not hot. Yeah, and I it agree. Presented a great flavor profile. Yeah, it had that kind of caramel. It was a bell like that probably yeah. only smoked for like yeah. an hour fifteen yeah. or something like that. I I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, I really liked yeah. it. I, really I did liked too. It. I thought it was very good. Yeah. Very very good. Yep. yep. I'm on board with what he's doing. Yeah, oh, Maduro is he does a Maduro in the Espinosa line, which is really good too. We'll have to get you guys mm -hmm. some of those. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd be happy to try yep. that. Sure. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, I smoked them a Malete uh, La Musa from uh, House Emilio. Emilio. <laughs> Too much bourbon here. Um, I started off with that the, the dry draw. I like that nice, nice sweet espresso flavor on that. That's what I got off that right off the bat. Uh, right out of the box, uh, I, what I liked about this was a nice citrate that was not a citrus on my palate. It just covered it. It was mm -hmm. really, really nice to me anyway. The subtle spice was pleasing on the retrohale. It was really, really nice. Uh, and then the nice creamy feeling on this cigar, it, 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 it just come out to me very much so. And the second half of the cigar, what I noticed was the room aroma on this. And what I thought about this cigar was the combustion rate on this. What I, I, that's all I wanted to ask, I, again, the age, age thing. I mean, combustion to a cigar is so important. Right. It really, it, it, it truly is. I think, I think that's underestimating a cigar, what it, what it does for that cigar. And I think it, that, that's something that, that really helped with this. The, the, the balance of spice and, and, and everything, the, the creaminess on this cigar was really, really that stuck out for me. And the last half of the cigar, or, or the final third as I call it, uh, had a nice cedar espresso flavor again with a spice that seems to stay with the cigar all the way through. But it was it was in the back of the cigar, and I caught most of it on the retrohale. I don't know if you if you did yeah. that on the molette. And I just think this cigar had like a, a started like a medium and a medium plus at the end. And it was the balance in the cigar on this it, all day long is a fiver plus. I, I really like this molette. What he's done with the cigar, really, really, really well done. But the combustion rate, it seemed like I was smoking the cigar for like two, two hours. It wasn't. You're but right. When, when now you're saying that, yes. You, you see what I'm saying yeah. what I mean by combustion? It yeah. makes a big difference in a cigar. I didn't have to work it. I, you know, does that make any sense to anyone? Yeah. You, you see what I'm saying? It just, 
it, it, it smoked itself. I, I know it sounds stupid, but. No, you're, you're like the Tatuaje Jar release, the Black Label mm -hmm. has that too. The draw is, it. Effortless, I would describe right? it's effortless. I describe it as very loose, but it never burns hot. Mm -hmm. Right, it never burns hot. Right. Um, Smoked one of them today. And, too. and again, and you know what I do? I, I and I, it's funny. You're in a roll. And then I go back and I and I. It seems like I'm uh, uh, the other person I go to to look at it. At a real, uh, uh, what I smoke is is coop or uh, uh, besides our show. And I'm saying, how can I do this differently? Because I ended up with the same assessment, and I got to come up with something. You know, and I find myself. I said, no, I'm not going to do anything different because it is what it is. And that citrus flavor, and the first third of that. And it's, that, not, a, it's not a young citrus flavor. No. It's a mature citrus it, flavor. It, you it, get it from just that. really, I, I think this cigar is a, one of his hidden gems in his line. Wait till you try to lend Sarah. I was telling you that. Yeah. And see, Nate McIntyre, Gary's uh, national sales manager, put that in my hands. And I'm always skeptical on some Lanceros, but that was a home run. You know, and really? I got I to gotta get you the Lancero. Yeah, I but was really happy with that. Did you get that espresso flavor in, in, on, on drawing it at all? You know, when you said it, it, it hit. I, you know, I, it, I didn't think of it until you said it. Yeah, it, it's just, yeah. it was right off the bat, and I was, then I was trying to dissect it. No, the first, you, you ever do that with a cigar, what I find for myself is what you feel, is what it is. You know, because then you try to, okay, it's not this, no, no, it, what it is right away. And that's what I, I really like that flavor. Yeah. And, that, and, and, and again, I'm being redundant. That, that combustion on this cigar, whatever he did on the blending of this cigar lasted a while. And, I, and it was, and, and the size I smoked, by the way, it was a 6x52 Toro. And I think this is, uh, this is something I, I really, we're, I'm working with Paul. I want to I bring this into the shop. It's very special. By the way, just as a little sidebar for our listening audience, next week, our special guest is Gary Griffith. Oh, oh, yes! I can't wait to talk the, to the, him. Uh, the Kamudran himself, the mm -hmm. vampire himself. <laughs> yeah, nice. Computer tan. Yep. So I, I'm real excited. So I think we could probably talk a lot more about. Oh, that I, I really do. I, I just want to ask him. It just, it, it really, that stuck out. Of besides mm -hmm. the flavors, everything, and I'm saying it again for the fifth time, that combustion rate on that cigar was one was so unique for me. Yeah. Interesting. So I, I smoked a, a Lido Gomez, uh, Lido Gomez Diaz uh, Robusto size. This was a gift from the, the local rep here uh, for La Flor Dominicana. And, um, it, you know, uh, both the La Flor Dominicana and the Lido Gomez branded blends, I think, all exhibit the same uh, characteristics in that. They age extremely, extremely well. Mm. Uh, y it's very rare that I think we talk about either one of those uh, brands that age out, right? Like you have to age them for a really long time before they age out. So, you know, this is definitely, uh, I think across all their blends, right? One, you can put in your humidor for a long time. Uh, or if you go into a shop and they have some already aged, they're, they're worth picking up because they just age so well. Um, this Robusto for me, was a little young. It, uh, it could have benefited from a little more age. Uh, so my rating of a fiver kind of speaks of, you know, get five, smoke one right away, take your assessment of it, and smoke them as you go along. Yep. Um, the, the flavors, I think, had some real potential there, but there was just this youngness component to it that um, very prominent in the first third, mellowed out a little bit as you smoked it, but uh, definitely one that could benefit from I just age. find... Did you smoke this same Vitola? Yeah. Is this yeah. the two, this is just correct? This is the 2013 vintage. Who's the local rep? Uh, John Gugli. Gugli. John Gugli. Yeah. Yeah. John Gugli. Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever. Thank you, John, uh, for, John. for this for this uh, one. Yeah. I, I just he, find he gifted you probably the yeah. same one, right? Yeah. <laughs> all, all I'm just trying to say with I find with the Lido Gomez has a much much better aging potential. Even the regular LFD, I oh, agree with that. No, I, you're, I just, I'm glad you said that. You're right. It, it just you know the Lido Gomez. A lot of people have a perception of that strong, powerful cigar. And they're right. Yeah. They're right. But once, like, like you say, Mark knows all about the, the small batches. He knows probably yeah. more prevalent than we do from his father, his father-in-law gifting yeah, the different you ones. you got to let that shit age, Oh, man. You, you, you do. You do. So. And, and it's well worth the wait, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Yep. Uh, in terms of cigars in, that I've had the experience of aging, I, I, I don't know... If there's anything that holds up better than that, yeah, oh, uh, the LG, uh, the LG, uh, the, the, the Opus moments. is yeah. is there with it, right? I don't think the Opus. I think they're on par with each other, really, as far as aging. Yeah, yeah. in terms yeah. of aging potential, they really settle in. 
yeah. a year or two down the road. Absolutely. I'll you give know. you one but more. Abo Limiteds. Mm -hmm. Abo Limiteds just seem to really age well. I mean, I just smoked an LE10. And that's not a hugely strong cigar to begin no, with. Oh, yeah. LE10 can be. The LE10's strong, but oh, the 11. Well, the oh. Limiteds are stronger no, the than the regular Abo the, the, the 10s. Do I think that's one of the stronger old blends they put out? Yeah, mm. I agree. By, by, by far, by far, the yeah. nines they, too. Oh no, the no nines are not even close. No, but you I think went, strength wise, no, you think oh, so? I think the ten's much stronger. But I went and smoked the six you gave me, and you had given me a six, and I smoked it, and I couldn't believe how that thing still had flavor. I mean, see, it's what, seven years old. Yeah, but see, what I find with the LG, and uh, the not the flavor profile, LG, and when it comes to uh, the Opus, they don't age out. They no. never age out. They never. Oops. Uh, I mean, maybe the the original Opus. Well, well, you and I smoked what a ninety-seven. Fifteen years. Uh, fifteen yeah, years old. Yeah. At that so point, yeah. okay. Yeah, I didn't get to smoke one. <laughs> Cuban tobacco, though. You look at some of the like cigar aficionado ones where they do that vintage yeah. section. Oh, some that are forty, fifty years old. I, I just. You know, I it's mean, hit or miss. It's hit or I miss. Mean, Sometimes I, I, it's got to be. I, right? I, yeah. It's got to be. I mean, I, I move your I mic up a little that. bit, Stokes. Oh, you got, you, you're all fuck. a mess over there. I'm all screwed up. There you go. That's much the, better. The Brené is getting the best of me. So anyway, <laughs> is that what we're drinking? I don't know what the hell we're Maybe. drinking. Maybe I don't know. I need, I need but more. it is it the LGs. So look, look, take a look. I mean, Mark had what? Uh, what, what, what was the one you gifted me? The number two. The, For the, Christmas. Oh, that thing was it one? Was I mean, how old was that? I don't even know what I don't even remember. What I, it was out. like I, I would have to five five to seven years. Uh, I, I don't remember that thing was. Uh, I, I mean, there was nothing I never smoked like that in LFD. I mean, LG ever ever in my life ever nothing has come close to that 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 one. It, it just it'll be was, a sad day when those were gone, man. Oh man, <laughs> that is. I a only have two of them left. Yeah, and and you know something, don't share them. <laughs> don't share them. I've done my fair. Of sh yeah, right. You I've done, done you, my oh, share I, I did that. I sat on and you talk. That is the ultimate wet spot. <laughs> by spot, by far, by far. Anyway, oh. Mark. Oh, a coop, a coop. Whatever. That's it. Okay. Um, so, look, uh, we've we've been talking a lot about this particular cigar. They're a sponsor of ours. Um, but that being said, you know, you've heard, you've heard us talk debonair. <laughs> and I smoked this week, actually last week, the Debonair Bellicosa. And if you've heard, if you've heard Stogie Santa talk about this cigar, he just talked about this as being the go-to in the line. And the I'm Bella not Bella. Bella the ball. Bella the ball. Bella the ball. Yeah, it's it's and, and if folks aren't familiar with Bella the ball, that's the Vitala in the line that kind of stands out. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. I was shocked because I'm not a – very rarely does the Bellicosa come out no. with it. I, uh, you know, so folks who aren't familiar with the brand, it's a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Dominican binder, uh, Dominican Nicaraguan filler. It's a 6x54, goes for fourteen uh, forty nine. Mm -hmm. This cigar, it, it has that, s we talk about the signature charred meat au jus that that cigar brings, and this one's going to deliver that. The other thing is there's a sweetness that comes out of this cigar from the mm -hmm. natural tobacco. It starts out very, it almost is a little bit candy-like in my book, I thought. I mean, it's uh, crazy. But uh, this, and but the sweetness really adds to that ojo. It's something really, really special. Um, this one, you know, this one is a, is, is a fight, Chuck Norris. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a hell of a cigar. It, I could, I never would have thought that. No, and, and and the transition. What I love is if if you can that sweetness, and you got that in your palate, then all of a sudden the ojo comes. And bingo. That's exactly what I wrote. Yep. Yep. You know, it, it, it's truly a special. And like I told the, uh, I was uh, talking with Phil and was down there. I, I, if I didn't smoke at least a dozen of these, that's he, he, smoke what you want. I, right. I could have had Cubans. I could have had it. Right. I was smoking those the whole time. I, could, I couldn't stop smoking them. They are something unique. Yeah, they really are. You know, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I, when I started with De Debonair, I started with the Sagita, mm -hmm. which that's what Phil wants to kind of introduce you into the line and it really is a good because it starts to give you a little bit of feel when you start exploring these other vitolas particularly this bellicoso um you can see and you know we've gotten a lot of feedback from listeners who mm -hmm. you know they've really been impressed with that cigar and you know, again there's phil's a sponsor of the show we'll disclaim that mm -hmm. but always uh you know give us your feedback on that you know i'll bad. say this i i think he did a good job of creating a different experience with every vitola in that's that line. A, absolutely great point he really and, does. And, and 
that's and they're different and and you're gonna like ones better than others yep. mm. obviously Jose right Jose just like, said you can't uh, you, 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 go ahead you, you, yes. just gonna, you, you can't my mind. like everything yeah, you're not yeah, gonna love yeah, it that's right yeah so so our listeners are gonna have different experiences and some are gonna like other sizes better than others but but I think if you try this and you really try this 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 blend out, you'll really see that this he did a great job of creating a very different experience with every Vitola. Right. Yep. And they're all positive yep. in their own way. And, and the way he did that, the Sagita, the entrance, <laughs> that's when people say, oh, the Azu, you don't even have a clue what Azu I, is. I didn't until – you're right. Because yeah. I started with the Sagita. <laughs> but I, I was getting it on the Sagita. Mm. And then I thought the Toro is a little different. It was more dialed back, I thought. But, it, you know, it's still a very good cigar. Yeah, almost um, – I don't know if it was a citrus, but um, the Toro was good. That's Phil's favorite. I like the Toro. And the Salamones is fine. I shouldn't say this. Uh, I, the quote Phil, he loves the Salamone. The Toro was, was, I thought was great, but I'm not a Bellicoso fan. I had to smoke three of those back to back to back to say how much I love that cigar. It's it's going to border on Oasis. Yeah, I had it as Chuck Norris. It, it could mm-hmm. be in time, you know, as I have more of them. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a special cigar. Mm-hmm. Mark Jr.? I smoked a House of Emilio cigar, the 1502 Emerald Perfecto. Mm-hmm. How did you get that? Yeah, I wonder who got that for you. Well, uh, that's a, that's a, you know, that's a, they only mm. have those at 15-year-old lounges, you know. No. <laughs> but no. Paul I can me. tell you. Um, I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, Leonel? Is that how you say it? He sent it to you. Leonel. Yeah, he, that's how I got mine. Leonel. And I, I left this here on the table because he, he sent us a personal note, and I wanted to make sure we recognized that. He said, uh, a Vitola you have here not tried before and what's coming next year. And wow. I think we've smoked most of what he sent me and reviewed it on the show. Certainly those two perfectos. Little we've breaking news. We've definitely smoked. So, Leonel, thank you very much. Um, from 1502 Cigars Let me uh, sent, sent these to us. Let me so. tack one thing on, and we'll go to Mark Jr. Um, on May 1st, we have Enrique Sanchez, the man behind that cigar, mm. as our guest. So, so we'll get more information, more information wow. on that. Yep, and he's in a lot of. I want to say he sent us four or five, and we haven't. I, we've smoked at least two, two. of them yeah, on I, I the show. A, so I, I, I apologize, we haven't gotten through all of them yet. Yep. It, this was uh, a, a, a very cool cigar, man. I have to say that it was a six and one eighth by fifty box press perfecto. Uh, Nicaraguan Habano Corojo, Nicaraguan Binder, San Andreas, and Nicaraguan Filler. Mm. It had to um, clip both ends. You did? Yep. It's uh, very reminiscent of our Ooh. listeners, just as a reference both point. Both ends. The double-edged end. sword. But, you know, the right. nice part about that is uh, with a traditional Vitola, uh, the foot can become damaged. But if both ends are closed like that, it, I, I find it to be a little more resilient to get knocked around your humidor, which is kind of a, a, a benefit to that double closed and perfecto yeah it, it was cool man it was sort of yeah. like a double-edged sword you had to clip yeah, yeah that, was, that was a bunch of useless shit that he just oh uh, no <laughs> go ahead <laughs> go ahead wow <laughs> what? to be honest <laughs> wow. this stay, stick stay is, with it. is refreshingly unique <laughs> it's the way i'd like to describe it oh and um, i'm the one <laughs> it had a f- <laughs> oh, go ahead. Refre- you sound like a soft drink commercial. <laughs> Refreshingly unique. Fresh what, what is going on? It <laughs> sort of had a <laughs> something know, in this drink. You got to ignore him at some <laughs> point. You know, like you just got to ignore him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about these guys. <laughs> I have, uh, you know. Go ahead. But you know something? He's right. These idiots. Okay. <laughs> but he, you know something? He's right. Mm. <laughs> it is. <laughs> he's, he's, go ahead. No, yeah. The Ruby I smoked, I really liked. I, sorry, <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. I'll show oh, you are we one. back? Okay. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm showing you. I'm showing you. <laughs> I, I found uh, there was like a toastiness, some cream bread. I almost would say it has it has like a cereal type toasted grain type flavor to it. That, like a Am doughy? Crazy? No, no, no. Like that doughy taste? No, like like I a got t- like a toasted grain, really. Sort of like sweet, but on a natural way. You know, uh, but toasty. It, I don't know. I thought it was very cool. It had a, mm-hmm. had almost like a little bit of a vanilla sweetness too. I mean, it was very unique. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I've had many cigars that that are like it, um, and uh, kind of hits what Jose was saying on its own. You know, it's it's a fifteen oh two emerald, right? And and I think that's saying something for it. 
What it would was you say strength mild. wise? Yeah. It was fairly mild. <laughs> um, but had a r- had a ton of flavor, really. I I, I enjoyed it. It was yeah. a fiber. Uh, it's not something that I'm going to reach for on a everyday type basis. That's why I say fiber. Mm. No, but yeah. you may pick up this cigar and and love the shit out of it. And oh, buy yeah, a I can box see. It. And and I wouldn't. I did the fifth. The black. Who who gave me who who gifted me the black was it Coop? It wasn't me. I don't think you. He might it might have been. It might have been. Yeah. That was a powerhouse. That's a, yeah. That is the, the strongest. Pole. Yeah, I did that one. Um, I like that more than I like the black. I, I actually smoked, and I'll probably have this up on Cigar Coop next week. I smoked the Lancero that's coming out with that. Really, and nice. it's really good in the Lancero. Nice. Hmm. Yep, box press Lancero. So there box you go. press Lancero. Yep, yep. The box press. That's a little interesting. Yep. Because box press, just no matter what Vitola you use, it just changes. And it's a it thin, up. it's a thin, you know, box press is going to make it a little smaller. So yeah. it's, it, but it's a wow. really, really good. I've never had a box press Lancero in my life. Has anyone had a box press Lancero Tat- before? The, the, the tattoo. tattoo. The, the tattoo. Oh, the, the tattoo. tattoo. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's a good point. I found a good point. Great point. Cigar Encyclopedia over here. Yeah, good right. Job. Good now job. Mark had it first, so can't get it there. Mm-hmm. Tattoo. I think I like. All right, Sam. Mr. Tattoo. Oh, okay, let's okay. go. What are you smoking? Okay, the federal uh, release of uh, of the Oliver. Uh, uh, it's a reserve number two. Oh, it's six by fifty-two. Well, uh, this one right here. Yes. I'm gonna hold it up the, for the camera. Uh, yes. The wrapper was a, uh, a Ecuadorian sun grown. The b- binder and filler was a Nica Nica. Um, the f- the dry draw I got off this was a nice tobacco sweetness with a coffee element to it. I really enjoyed that. Once uh, I yeah, I get that right off the foot. <laughs> what your foot or the cigar? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Once lit, <laughs> I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> the mix of coffee and natural tobacco sweetness was right on the front of the cigar. I got right off the bat. That's what I got. Um, I, what I got was like a white pepper on the retrohale. No, oh, Coop, did you get that at all? Mm, it would definitely, yeah, definitely got the pepper on the retrohale. Yeah, I got I like a more of a white, white pepper. But That's yeah. what I got. The mouthfeel in the cigar was such creaminess to it I, I really enjoyed that it was very very good the second third again the natural tobacco tobacco sweetness with a slight mocha flavor what i picked up the flavor developed with pepper it stayed with it on the retrohale the thing i wasn't a deterrent but the 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 draw was a little tight and i had to play with it a little bit but not enough to to deter me from this cigar at all it wasn't a problem uh the last third the, i had an earthy a uh, woody taste to it. And again, I like this taste. It was like a bitter yep. espresso. That's the West. You, you know how an espresso can be had a little bitterness oh to yeah. it? Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and, and again, I didn't, it wasn't a, um, a turn off for me. Some people, uh, Coop, I, again, went back to you as you had like a tanginess. I, I, yeah. I, 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 it's, I think that could be similar. Yeah, that's what, yeah. You know, I, I read your review. Um, again, the pepper on the retrohale seemed the last third to, to not be there as much for me. The first two thirds, it was there, yeah. was, was there all the time. The last third of that cigar, I find the retrohale was not as much on the pepper end of that. But it was a very balanced, very enjoyable cigar. I, I, I rated this a definitely box worthy cigar. Yeah, I had a Chuck Norris, like. so I really liked it. I, 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 it was really very. And, and you know something? I wanted to throw this in. Did you get almost a bready type yep. um, component I to this th- guy? I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, you definitely get that bready, and that's not a bad thing. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to, it, it wasn't, yeah. it, it seemed like to me it, it, it went and it, it came and it went. Yep. It was right in the middle of the cigar. It's like, I don't know if I'm getting this. I was not, and, and it was funny. I, I, I got to, I, I sat it here and I said, you know something, but I forgot to put that breadiness component. It wasn't very. It was like a 30-second type um, blast of breadiness to it. So, anyway, I, I, I tell you, it wasn't many. Uh, I, forgot the, I forgot to put down. And, and this, this tobacco, I was talking to John Cazaro, who is the uh, national sales rep for the Northeast, Northeast. This tobacco is over 10 years old. Yep. The cigars this, uh, the sitting down there for 10 years. Yep. And uh, this was um, the Master Blend Master <laughs> 1 and 2. So, anyway. 
I know it. Well, uh. well, well it's funny. <laughs> we, we do the live production. The uh, uh, producers have the ability to talk to us so only we can hear them. So it sounds like there's voices in your head, Will. Yeah, It's no. not actually voices. Now you know how I feel every day. I try not to talk on air about you know what happens behind the scenes, but uh, Will, Will's, <laughs> Will's reaction to that was just kind of funny. <laughs> so uh, I smoked a Arturo Fuente Hemingway Signature Risotto. Ooh. Uh, and I tell you what, we've talked <laughs> about this risotto wrapper and the Hemingway blend before. And it's just, oh, it's just so special. Can you give I, me one of those? Uh, I, I, I don't have any more. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, this Vitola is just uh, it's so amazing because it, it's complex. It has this kind of citrus component to it, which uh, isn't always something that I look for in a cigar. But the way that this blend represents that is just so enjoyable. If you have the opportunity to smoke one, I tell you what, do it as your first cigar in the morning with coffee. It, it is just amazing. This is an Oasis-level cigar for oh. me. I don't know wow. what it is about this blend that takes it to this level because I've smoked the Cameroon-wrapped you know, Hemingways. I've smoked the Maduro Hemingways in, in just about every, almost every size that they make available. Every single one of these risotto-wrapped Hemingways I've had has been Oasis or it's damn near the Oasis. The off the charts, right? Put, right down to the nub. I mean, I was burning my fingers. Put your finger fingers. on one flavor. You can't. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's yeah. just this, like it's insane. explosion medley of flavors. Oh. They just, oh, I, it, 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 it's one of the most special cigars I think we've talked about on this show. Oh, mm. without that, a doubt. That's how, that's how epic this is. I was going to bring that one in, and I said, yeah. I, I, I have one here, actually. I can, I can hold it up for the camera. This is a... The larger size that I've got here, is that a, is that a signature? Oh, that's a classic. classic. That's a classic. That's a classic here that, uh, that I'm holding up for the camera. And uh, I, I tell you what, I, I would crawl across. <laughs> this one's got flutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> 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 hey, the look at his bag. Okay, even son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you can see like the little bits of plume. Hey, hey, and those they gave you the Padron instead of that one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not complaining. No, no, I'm not <laughs> saying to <laughs> complain. I don't mean it like <laughs> that. <laughs> these, are, these are just special, <laughs> special, special cigars. Yeah. yeah. Have you had one before, Will? Not for a while. All right, so it you've had one before, so I don't have to give you this <laughs> one. <laughs> 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 if you said you would never had one before, I might part with uh, it after another glass of scotch. Yeah. But <laughs> these are special. Yeah. These are special. It is. They're awesome. Just like you. That's <laughs> I'm special. Just right? like you, Paul. Like, like sh- rides the short bus kind of special. <laughs> yeah, I think. right. It's more Kids. than yeah. appropriate. Sorry. Will, over uh, to you. All right, so this one, may, this one may be interesting we'll talk about. Um, I smoked the Avo limited edition 2014, the Avo 88. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Avo Cigars. They actually sent me a few samples of this. And the one thing that's real interesting about, um, can you hear me? There we go. Yeah, the one thing that's really interesting about this is I, I love the Avo limited lines for the most part. Most of them have been really excellent cigars. This is the first Dominican Puro that's been released in this series which I was a little surprised about. So it's all Dominican tobacco. It has that Yamasa wrapper that Davidoff is using on all their special releases lately. And i tell you, it, the other thing that's interesting, it's the Bellicoso, and in, you look at the top of that Bellicoso, it's almost like a Hershey's Kiss mm. when you look mm. at that thing. It's, and I think we, it, very it, it, pointed. Very pointed. It's, it, it's tapered in such a way. I didn't know how else to describe it. Um, I love this cigar. Stogie said it's holding it up. I, I think it's such a key. Uh, look, look at the packaging on that. Yeah. It has a piano key that goes right around yeah. it. Yeah. It's really neat. Yep, and the, the 88 is symbolic it's of Avo's birthday mm-hmm. and um, of the 88 keys on a grand piano. Yep. Yep. I I thought they hit it out of the park. Wow. I thought Eladio Diaz and Hanky hit it out of the park with this one. Um, I love the chocolate, the orange cream, the grass, and the red pepper. There's some Corojo in the filler, and you could get a little of that Corojo sweetness in there. It's a, it's a medium strength, medium bodied cigar that it progresses closer to medium to full in there. I, I really liked it. I noticed some folks who may disagree with this, but I thought, um, I thought it was a Chuck Nor- another Chuck Norris cigar. I, this, this could be, and I think over time it's going to get better. I think the aging potential, uh, I, I happen to have one. Uh, and I think the aging potential is going to be very, very big on this. I found the one I had was just a little young. Um, 
But I can see it going down the road as being very well. Yeah, very and, I, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I disclaimed it that these were sent in, in sample, and thanks to Avo for that. But, um, you know, I, I've pretty much the last, most of the last six or seven years, those cigars have, hit, have all won me over. So, I mean, there's, for the most part, they've been all really high-rated cigars in my book. Mm -hmm. You know, going back to the nine, for the most part. Mm -hmm. I, uh, so, I liked it. Mark Jr., I smoked an H. Upman Connoisseur number one from <laughs> 2005. Oh, life sucks for you. Well, <laughs> I don't know how I do it sometimes. I should. Ah. Do, no, how do you get by? I <laughs> he just he just whims it. I need some ice and I need some more. I'll make it. I'll liquor. make it. You know, I that, that bottle concern, that bottle Paul. is not making it through the night. No. I appreciate it's my challenge concern, to everyone Paul. here. But it's not happened. You this guys bottle. drink like a fish, I tell oh. you. <laughs> we learned it from you, Uncle. <laughs> Uncle dirty, uh, dirty Uncle Stokey Santa. Santa. <laughs> 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 okay, anyway. <laughs> We we've had some good times with yeah, the oh yeah. oh yeah. Woo! Ooh. Woo! <laughs> Stop. Stop. Uh, oh, 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 unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Why do we do this every time he tries to do the cigar? I mean, oh. what we the hell? <laughs> I'm just going to shut up and drink and smoke. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. Here you go, Will. You need more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving it to the wrong guy here. <laughs> Done. 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 Yeah. Done. I'll drink to that. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Chris tell you. almost got, like, close <laughs> one month. that thing. <laughs> I know. One month with us, we change your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. All okay. Right. okay. All right. Stokey <coughs> <Soggy> Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic review, Mark Jr. Yeah. Stokey Santa, you. back to you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Blah, okay. blah. This was a, it was just a really What, what did you smoke, Mark Jr.? I'm sorry. A Chapman Connoisseur number one. Yep. Oh. It's a Robusto. It was from 2005. So, depending on what month it could be, <laughs> we're looking at, you know, nine, eight years old. Oh. Uh, Sogi Santa smoked one of these oh. uh, the other day. It oh, was a Magnum 46. Yeah, yeah. No, he was that a Magnum 46, but it was from, oh. they're both from Same. 05. Oh, yeah. I had it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this cigar was uh, as close to as perfectly balanced as a cigar could possibly be. I, 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 oh, go ahead. It had the... <laughs> oh, sorry. The chat room. Flavors of a <laughs> <laughs> leather, cedar... Honey, it was uh, truly a delight, to be honest with you. Uh, these are box-worthy all day. I would buy a box of these again. Um, this is uh, – H. Upmans are something that I go through waves with. <laughs> you know, like I smoke them, and I love them, and then for whatever reason I don't smoke them again for a while. But And I s tend to overlook them because hey, of that. Hey, if any time you're in a lull and you need help smoking those, just let us know. <laughs> we they're, can help you out with they're that. They're about this close to – Five Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> That's giving Five Vegas some credit. <coughs> oh, yeah, it's true. It's from me to Paul. <laughs> uh, guys, this is uh, this, this is an truly awesome cigar. It was a delight. So oh, he gave me one at the end of the show, and I tell you what, I was driving home and I dropped that son of a bitch in my lap and I picked <laughs> it back up and I said, "Fuck <laughs> it!" Oh, oh, oh. I, pulling over, intoxicated, smoking a cigar. <laughs> oh, oh. Isn't it the Upman? A lot of people. Do you do you think people even appreciate Upmans for the most part? I like guess because I, I think the people that know. Do. Yeah. Do, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You're making know, my do. point. People that know do. But it's not something you hear a lot of people talk about yeah, on a regular basis. Exactly. Pages. Oh, the balance on that cigar was spectacular. Sure, it, mm -hmm. it's a waste. What I smoked was not. It was fight Chuck Norris. Age Upmans, they're Age Upmans, they're pretty fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, w you know, if I was to reach for a box of cigars, that that may be because those two thousand fives, that was not a good time. No, five and for six. Cuba. No, and, and and those are still very consistently well ma manufactured. Very cool. Yeah, so. I agree. 
You got one, Stogie Sam? Stogie Sam? Well, you know something. When you get my age, if you get to put down on your computer, I had a. I, I, I'll, 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 I'm going to wing this. The <laughs> series, the series P, by Podicus. Oh yeah, the torpedo. The torpedo. Another one of my favorites. Oh, I'm going to tell you something. It's a good cigar. It is. It doesn't have. I got a nice caramel sweetness off that. I don't know if you got that in the beginning. It doesn't have the spice of of a number four. But the balance in that cigar, not. I'm, I'm going to go on a whim. The strength isn't the level of a Monty 2, but I like the flavors more than a Monty 2. Oh, yeah. It, it is amped down, it down yeah. in strength. Yeah, it's yeah. The, it's yeah. the strength yeah. level is nowhere near the Monty 2, yeah. but it has a better balance, a better profile. And, and what I like the last third, I don't know if anyone picked this up, almost like a barnyard flavor. I really uh, – I, I'll I, this was only two years old, so – you know, I know everyone that Monty 2 is like the epic. Everyone wants to smoke, smoke and cigar of the year and like that. I think the Podicus. And they're good, don't get me wrong. No, 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 no. I'm not knocking the cigar. Yeah. That's not, I think that's a cigar and the Podicus a lot of people forget about. I really, truly no, do. No, I agree. Because everyone it, goes to the Series D number four. Right. And the number yes. four is a stronger, spicier cigar. Yep. And you, you ever think about spice and s- Cubans, it doesn't seem to go. They, but the only thing they, that I, I found that. If you would put me on a, a, a finger on it, is that I found there's a little bit more citrus on the number two than four. Sure. I Do you agree? I, agree? I could see that for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that component whatsoever. But that cigar, I think if you put a three, four years age on that, it could be like a couple of rungs underneath, totally different from, from, the, from the Upman, but that Oasis-type level. It could be. Could get. Th- I never had a Series P older than the, like a year and a half, two years. Really? Because yeah. Really. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. So oh I've had some. Buddy. Yeah. Jimmy's got some stinky old. Yeah. I gave. Boy, yeah. We were oh. sharing them for oh. back and forth for a yeah. little bit, and they were. Yeah. Stupid good. Yeah, were they? Were they? Stupid like good. light them first thing in the morning because they've you know oh, they, they're, they're not oh, strong stupid. to begin with like you said. No, no. Like yeah. I said, it's not an oh, amped up flavor. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I mean, amped up strength. But there's just something with the that amount component. of flavor in them. Is yeah. Did, did you get any Bonyard? Anybody get off that at the last third? Almost. It wasn't super prevalent, but it just the last third was. I, I that cigar was that, awesome. Because some of them that I smoked recently were like stinky old. So maybe, maybe uh, lost I a little never bit had of that the, Bonyard. You know, yeah. I just no. Okay, you you've had the old ones. Seriously, the old ones, new ones. Is it better as it gets older? Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't say that more emphatically. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, do, you, do you find that a, 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 a underrated yeah, podcast? No, yes, agree. because everybody goes to the PSD4s. You already yeah. mentioned that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, and because of that, people tend to overlook this one a, a little bit, I think. And uh, in my opinion, it's better. Yeah. In my opinion, it's better. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, we're on the same page. You know, right, I meant to so put down a review anyway. I forgot to ball up that one. No worries. Oliva uh, Series V Nub Maduro. This Which one? In, uh, that Studio Tobacco sampler pack mm-hmm. that came out recently um, with a bunch of the different Oliva blends. Yep. Um, it, you know, this was good. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I, I enjoyed smoking it, but you can't help but compare it to some of the other V sizes, and this one just didn't do it for me. Um, and I, I can't really, like, pinpoint exactly what it was. It, it, like Stokey Sanders says, it didn't know what it wanted to do with itself. You know what I mean? It's just kind of sure. it was all over mm. the place kind of thing for me. It, it, and this is a try one uh, just because it's a cool size. You know, Oliva has got the, the market the on nub. The, the nub size. Um, so I think if you really love the Series V, you will probably really like this one. I don't think it's the strongest in their offering as far as the um, the V line goes. Uh, some of their other Vitola sizes represent the blend, I think, much better mm-hmm. than this particular size, particularly the Lancero and the new Corona. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Well, new now, new regular production uh, Corona, which was before just a, a event only. I have that on my list. Mm-hmm. Actually, cigar, yeah. yeah. Um, so you know, this is certainly one to try. Uh, it'll, it might be in your wheelhouse. So, Will, back to you. Uh, smoke the EP Carrillo Short Run Cubra. In the Toro size, and this was a gift from listener Adam, who I want to thank. And oh, and wait a minute, he gives that you that, wait, and I get you the get five that, Vegas. He gets fucking five Vegas. Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> 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 hey, we got an episode title. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> oh, <poor> Adam. <laughs> You're opening up a box of no. Adam. 
He is. He is something yeah, else. He is. That, I really he is. I, I really he's the best. He, he might not like me after what I want to say. No, yet, but, hey, but, uh, hey, I deserve it. I get. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I thought the whole the, so the, there was actually a reason he no, sent this to me. No, not in there. And I I really yeah. thank him. He sent a, a bunch of great cigars. Oh. <laughs> Can we have a little spill? Yeah, I need a that paper blows. towel. That paper blows. Towel. Paper, clean up in aisle clean up. seven. <sighs> clean up. Oh, 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 aisle seven. It'll be fine. It'll okay. Be fine. okay. Can we have okay. bounty and pick up paper. Well, we got. Oh, oh, we got oh paper towels. Is this guy athletic or what? That's right. Oh, we, fuck. We're, we're in real time here, guys. Okay. Anyway, right. keep going. Uh, keep going. Uh, while Mark that tries blows. to save his laptop. Um, <laughs> fuck. Um, so we, we actually, this was a re the reason this was relevant is we were talking about Brazilian Cuba rappers, and um, I was unaware that EPC had done this cigar, and they actually did a short run of it in 1,200 boxes for Cigar International. Um, so he had, was kind enough to send this to me. Uh, it was an interesting cigar. It had some notes of nuts. It had white pepper. It had some bread notes we just talked about. Um, it, I got some sourness off this cigar. And then, then really? I got a little sourness off this cigar, yeah. And maybe, like I said, I had one of them. So um, it's a medium strength, medium body cigar. It's, this is different than any of the short runs here. Um, is this the, the vintage short run? This is the, the, the Kubra short run. It's a vintage short run, which is different. Okay, okay, because yeah. we smoked the vintage short runs before. Yeah, and I'm going to talk about that? the vintage in an upcoming one because that, that is different. Okay. I had it as an angler, and that's not lawn mulch by any means. Uh, it, I, the best way to put it is maybe the sourness turned me off of it, but I, overall it wasn't really my flavor profile. But it's an interesting smoke. It's not a bad cigar. I'd still recommend you give it a try and see what you think. It, the one thing I'll say positive is the Kubra wrapper just shows me a lot of different varieties in terms of the flavors it could deliver. It's an interesting wrapper. To definitely check out. Interesting. Mark Jr., your laptop is sufficiently drunk now, so it is. We ain't, are we getting any more like booze? Uh, check the bar. Where's the bar? The tiki bar. <laughs> the, uh, our the tiki bar. Right All next right. to you. Right, right next to me. Okay. We got some Jack Daniels. We got some Jack Daniels here, Stogie Sand. Might be some um, I smoked. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna skip one. I'll go to to the Oliva. Actually, I smoked that Corona, the mm -hmm. the Serie V number four. The new. This is the new release of that. Right. Right. Uh, as you'd mentioned, this has been like an annual mm -hmm. small release, uh, but they recently made Where's a the decision. The booze to is under the bar. They made the. They <laughs> recently made the decision to make this a regular you production the pizza cigar. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. He was distracted by pizza. So I ate this much. It drink. happens. Oh. It happens. He just grabbed a slice of pizza like Ooh, the pizza. size of Rhode Island. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the smallest piece in the box. It probably it might have been. <laughs> uh <laughs> so <laughs> go ahead, Mark. I'm Jesus <laughs> Christ. I fucking I quit. I quit. <laughs> Every time Every time Mark Jr. goes through I quit. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get some beer for us and then you just go. Go ahead. Go. I'm sorry. I started it this time. Go. <laughs> I, I I often think that a cigar, uh, when when somebody takes it from limited production to regular production, I, I wonder, you know, is that gonna affect the consistency? This uh, I I found this to be very consistent with the experiences that oh, I had them in the past. Has a blast of pepper right off the beginning. It's followed nicely with some earth and wood as some subtle sweetness. Uh, if the flavor stood alone, this cigar would be box worthy. If you bring price into the equation, it's an absolute no brainer. That's for Stokey Santa. Absolute no brainer. Do that tomorrow. And I would definitely buy a box of these. You want some of this one? No, good. Do you find what do you, do you like this out of all of these? Oh, without a doubt. Me, but too. me too. I like it better than the Maduro than most of the Maduros. Mm. I, I love it in that, that number four. Bell of the ball. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's the bell of the ball. It's amazing. The only thing is I like that more out of the box than I do aging. I usually, when I smoke, because it was so limited, I usually smoked it and got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I just happened, it was, I, 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 when Mark came down, whenever they came in, he was, as soon as I sent him a text, oh, he came running down. I find that the, because the spice element, I don't find it over the top. Do you? Nope. No, no, no. What happened to me, I like that spiciness because it's not that, I just found, whatever mine was when John came down, 
what was it last year when it came down to the uh, Havana? Club? It was a show that we did, and yeah, he right. handed us all one. Well, no, it was even before that. I was at the show at um. Oh yeah, and you Vegas. spoke about even before that. Yeah, yeah. And, and and they were good, and I, he gave me some, and I put them away, and they were still. Don't get me wrong, they were still really good, but out of the box, that that performs much better, for me, for me, just like this pizza does. <laughs> I can't even eat them. Are you, are you your your list is uh, done, Stokey Yeah, Sanders? why not? All right, I'll I'll jump in. I, I can do more, but <laughs> go ahead. Um, Padron Series nineteen twenty six number six natural. And I have to say, we've talked a lot about <laughs> Padron. Uh, but hey, we, why would we start making fun of him? Why he's talking? Because pizza. this was the size. That was the size of Rhode Island. <laughs> this is a this is a fantastic stick what, to say pizza? the least. <laughs> <laughs> so the the flavors that come off this twenty six natural <laughs> in the number six size are out of this world. I mean, for a regular production cigar, you know that, that we talk about, this has got to be one of the best. Um, I'm continually impressed by the natural in the twenty six blend. The twenty six. Now you had. I'm gonna put you on the spot. 44 to 6. Oh, 6 all day long. I was really? not a wow. huge fan of the 44th Mark? Family Reserve Natural. I was not a fan. I would smoke this number 6 natural in the 26 series all day long. I'd buy a box. And this is box worthy in my opinion. Holy I would mackerel. buy a box of these. I think these are going to age well. I think that the flavors. They're, they're great. They're, they're, like I said, the 26. Even, you know, Padron's not known for their complexity, but there was some change-ups that happened throughout this cigar. There was this. There was this sweetness component that uh, it, I don't want to say it came and went, but it was there in varying intensities throughout the entire cigar that just made it such See, an. See, I got more experience. of a seed of spice than I got sweetness. It, it, the spice it's definitely up front yeah. when you when yep. the first third. Yep. There's a lot of spice, which can almost overpower the sweetness. I agree. Right. Once you get past that that first third, it's it's all about this wonderful wow. sweet flavor. What a Boxworthy. What do you think? 44 or 6, Mark? 35. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, 35. 35 is a I great. Can't, uh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. And that's one of the most, uh, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. A size that's not widely known and publicized from Padron is that number 35. You don't see a lot of people talking about it. That, that's a great In my cigar. opinion, that's the bell of the ball, and it's the cat's ass. Yeah. Mm. That 35th is It's on the, the bell of the ball and the cat's ass. That's another new rating we came up with on the show. <laughs> it's uh, What was the rating for the five Vegas? <laughs> Keep Leave it in the truck. Leave it in, truck. Leave it in your truck. truck, and we got the bell of the ball and the cat's ass oh, <laughs> as we drop pizza on the floor. <laughs> oh, oh, God. We almost had another. <laughs> Yee-haw. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call this episode. <laughs> bell of the ball, cat's ass. <laughs> Leave it in your truck. <laughs> Fuck Adam. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ultimate wet spot. I'm doing that. Just, no, we did the you drown a toddler in my shorts. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh boy. Will. Oh, yeah. Hey, back to you. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Mark Jr. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna say it as fast as possible so you fuckers can't interrupt me. That's because you're hungry. We'll still find a way. Okay, I smoked the Viaje Exclusivo Let It. It's a 5x54. <laughs> 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 Cooped in an in-depth review of this cigar. This cigar intrigued me uh, oh. because it was used in medi- Medio Tiempo, the filler. Uh, the result was a strong black flavor co- that complemented earth coffee sweetness. Although this has more strength, I did not find it to be terribly strong as many others have. <laughs> Overall, this is a really nice cigar, but I think I would like the regular Exclusivo blend better. The original has a nice sweetness. Note that I did not get in this variation. All in all, this is definitely worth the fiber. Well done. Am I supposed to be <coughs> responsible? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you're the dirty uncle here. <laughs> you're supposed to be the older, more responsible <laughs> That's one. <what> dirty Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I smoked the Avo Lounge Edition. Is that the right name? For, uh, yes. yes. I guessed on the name for this cigar. It's got the light blue uh, band. You're right. Now, that's the lounge that you smoked in the sampler pack. It is. And, and I think that size is only available in the sampler pack. 
Well, that's what I heard. This was a, a rebuzo size. Yeah. Yep, it's <clears throat> it it had the uh, out of all the ones in that sampler pack, and out of a lot of the avo uh, that I smoked even recently, it had the most grassiest profile. Very extremely. If you like that grassy profile, you're gonna love this cigar. Extremely, extremely grassy. Um, almost like Avo Domain. Anyone smoked oh Avo yeah. Domain before? Mm -hmm. That much of a grassy, grassy no, profile with this yep. cigar. I'm um, glad you it, took it the really took the, took the grassiness off the charts. Um, so just a heads up, not a bad cigar. Um, uh, of course, I had oh, some... Not I a bad cigar. It's well, grassy. Hey, get this. I had some construction issues oh, with this no. cigar. <laughs> Go figure. Do you take the wrapper off? I would, <laughs> I would smoke another one, though. Um, <laughs> it just to kind of get a more feeling of what it's all about, but it, it definitely exemplified that grassiness flavor, um, but which I'm not, I'm not totally opposed to now. I tell you what, that grassy flavor kind of, it's grown on me over the years for I sure. I like it as a compliment. Right. It's not a compliment. It's all about the grassiness yeah. in this, mm -hmm. in this Vitola. The other yeah. ones in that sampler pack may have that grassiness. Some of them don't have any of that. How about the mystery? The mystery one I reviewed on the last show that yep. I was on, it was good. It was good. It's a fiver. Not? It's a fiver rating. You might not. Have, I don't know if you were here or not, but I guess not. I'm yeah, a, the I mystery one was good. It was. It was a good cigar. It was a fiver, in my opinion. Yeah. I think you might have rated it a little higher than. No, I, I did. didn't. I didn't smoke the mystery. Yet. I just got it today. Oh, yeah, you just. But picked but up. this one, I would agree to try one when I've smoked other Vitolas in the Ava Lounge. In the lounge. That's about where I would put it. It's and really great. So they're all really. It's grassy. a milder. You know, it's not a bad cigar. I encourage you to try it. And if you're an Avo f Dominican. Grassy flavor fan. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's not a bad cigar, though. What else we got, gentlemen? Pizza. <laughs> pizza. And we've now resorted ourselves to pizza and beer. I'm done. Yeah, I think it's. All right, let's talk about contests. Okay. Um, so, a couple contests. Next week, I will announce the winner of the Coots Special Edition uh, Lancero Box Cigar. Uh, by Gabriel Alvarez, who's sponsoring that. So I will draw the winner next week. So you got one more week to get into that contest. Uh, I smoked that cigar, um, and I, I, it's a great cigar. So it's a real nice prize by the folks at Coots. Mm -hmm. um, we still have the Espinosa five-pack giveaway, courtesy of Espinosa Cigars. Um, and um, all you have to do for that one, uh, just real quick, the Coots Mural Special Edition, just email us your favorite Lanceros you like to smoke to get in on that contest to the show at StogieGeeks.com. That's simple enough. Yep. For the Espinosa 5-pack, um, all you have to do is find the Espinosa cigar that made my cigar of the year countdown and email the link to Stogie Geeks, I mean the show at StogieGeeks.com. We'll close that contest out on the 17th, so we'll give some folks a chance to do that. Um, guests coming up. Uh, we have some real interesting guests on the April 10th. We mentioned Gary Griffith from House of Familia. I just was with Gary over the weekend in Charlotte, and he's really looking forward to being on the show. Oh, I can't wait. Um, that I know a lot of folks may know Gary, <laughs> but if you don't, uh, you're in for a real treat. Okay. Yep. On right. April 17th, we have Alex Goldman, who is the president of Royal Gold Cigars. Very interesting story with that company. Um, and he doesn't do a lot of interviews. At least he's done a few, but... We're very fortunate to get him, um, and what Royal Gold is doing is, is sort of a polarizing story, but I think it's a good story. Um, and then May 1st, Enrique Sanchez from 1502 Cigars. Wow. May 15th, Mr. Phil Zengi will be in the studio. Whoa. Am I, uh, that's, yeah, he will that's be in the studio. I, will, I, we got him. We got him. So, yeah. yep, a lot of shows coming up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, well, ru I'm running interference <laughs> on my laptop. Oh, Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> and oh, and I, I, I'm going to add something tonight. Something groundbreaking. On May 15th? No, tonight. Oh, something tonight. Name your five worst cigars, and Adam will mail you a five pack of. Vegas five. <laughs> five Vegas. Five Vegas. What else? Oh, wow. Hey, thanks, Adam. Adam, Adam. <laughs> thanks, just Adam. Just send your. All your, what 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 is Adam's e email? Anyone know? <laughs> no, no, I won't do that. <laughs> Send it to the show. It's still yeah, no, no. We'll hook you up with Adam. <laughs> we'll, hook up. <laughs> we'll hook you up with Adam. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I, is I that our contest for the show? <laughs> Adam, you are one hot shit. <laughs> he is the best. Yeah, he is really a great guy. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I, have, I, have, I, I, you know, I thought he was joking about the five Vegas when I was talking with him, when he said he sent you something special. 
Like I, he I asked th- for your address. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah and, I, and I did. I, I, sent I really them my, thought it was going to be something. <laughs> oh, uh, here I am. Special. No, Adam. I mean, he sent me up that BOTL. B, BOTL. Well, uh, I, we Lancero. trade cigars with Adam all, all the time, and oh. Zed Man as well, and, and a lot of our listeners. And so, if you want to do some real good trading, Adam, I'm open to it. <laughs> yeah, Adam was clearly <laughs> no, owes you a much better trade no, than what no, he sent no, you. No, it, you know something? That's just a lot of fun, and I had a lot of fun with it. Super. You know, bad. that's what we get for talking smack. Yeah. Now, hey, you know something? Put your foot. Your and you had is. to smoke. I mean, dude, you talk smack like that. <sighs> we joke about something. I, it just, you know, I get it. it you, I, and you and all, I, you're it. right. And you know something? God bless people that want to smoke them, and I got it. You know what I mean? I'm too old. They were that good, huh? Oh, they, they, were, they were epic. <laughs> epic, all right. Leave me in your truck. <laughs> Leave them in your truck. <laughs> they were so epic, we had to come up with a new rating. The, the, you know, that should be a new, new 1. rating. 1.5. Yeah, leave them in your truck. The one point five. Yeah, leave them in your truck. All so, righty. Anyway, and for the two people that listen to us, <laughs> thank you. <Yeah. laughs> for the two people that hung in with us. <laughs> oh my yeah, gosh, <laughs> thanks for hanging in with this us. This has been a train wreck for <laughs> the past thirty minutes. We did provide the disclaimer that it was it, it was going to be like this. Yeah, I know because with Coop coming up and, Coop, and, and, Coop's and, here and he's and drinking like a fish. And, and out of control. I smoked like a. I smoked like a junk. I mean, I how many scores did you smoke today? Ten. I mean, it was just like he kept feeding them. You fed me, and he kept. <laughs> I mean, what was, did you expect? And 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 <laughs> like I said, we would often get the opportunity <coughs> to just hand you cigars. I'm and coming back here more often. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to to Burke Halos, he's gonna go home. Hi, hon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, thank you. A very serious note. Thank you, everybody. Great show. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for thanks listening, everyone. You. God bless. All right. We will see everyone on the next episode of The, the Stogie Show. Oh.